What's up, Sensi fans? It's Patricia, and today is another episode of Tester Tuesday, which is a great way for me to get reviews out to you guys. Use up my Sensi stash, which is usually testers, but lately it's been bars. And the fun part is you guys vote at the end of the video. Last week we had 362 votes. So let's talk about our first place scent for the week. It's from Harry Potter, Hufflepuff, Just and Loyal. I just call it Hufflepuff for ease. It's a almost like a mustardy yellow colored wax. This one had 35% of the vote. On cold sniff, I would say this is medium to medium plus. And like I said, it's a limited time offer in the Harry Potter collection. As I film this video, it's available as a set. If you want to purchase this, just this bar, you'd have to put it in your Scentsy Club and you can't do that until March 24th because they were delaying these bars in Scentsy Club just so they could build up stock. I would put this in the bakery section. Scentsy describes this on the website as the Great Hall beckons with sweet and steadfast notes of golden apple, whipped vanilla almond, and cinnamon sugar. Now, if you have the box, they actually have an extra note there. They have white hazelnut. So just keep that in mind. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you this performed different in two spots. I had actually used a full bar. I used two cubes here in my bedroom and six cubes in my open layout. So I'm gonna describe each spot and how they smell because it's a great example of melting in just one spot sometimes doesn't give you the overall picture. So we'll do open layout first. I thought to myself, this smells strong. I'll do it there. So I put six cubes in amongst four warmers. Down there, I felt it had a very rich, deep bakery tone, but you almost got the accompaniments of a dessert more than the dessert base. So say you had like a dessert base like French toast. This scent reminded me of all the accompaniments that you'd put on it. Like it had sauteed apples that had been cooked with a little tiny bit of cinnamon, barely any, in some butter. Then I also got a lot of maple and caramel and honey. So imagine you had that kind of dessert and you drizzled a ton, ton of maple and it's like a bright maple in my downstairs. It felt like a bright maple and a honey and a caramel. So it's very sweet and rich and a little bit, I don't know, I don't know if cloying is the right word. And then at the end of the warming, I could smell a little bit more bakery and a little bit of like the almond note. So it almost like you garnished it with slivered almonds. And I liked it a little bit down there. I didn't like it very much. I tolerated it. I would say strength and throw was eight and a half out of 10. It did very well in my open layer. I left it going two days, 20 hours. So the first day, it was definitely a lot stronger. And the second day, it was probably about four out of 10, but it was still strong enough and it was more bakery in tone. So I have a note here, uh, maple, caramel, honey heavy, and a little bit of fruit and a little bit of bakery. So if the other two cubes I warmed here in my bedroom. This is not a type of scent that I would want to warm in my bedroom. I didn't even really like this very much on cold, but I thought I'm going to warm it. So in my bedroom, it was very different. It almost smelled like a brown butter or almost like a burnt, something that you sauteed in a, a pan, like you were making pancakes and the butter started to burn in the pan. I got a lot of that underlying note and almost like a smokiness. I could also, also smell like almost like a raisin tone and I couldn't smell as much maple, but I could smell it. And I couldn't smell as much caramel, but I could smell it. It wasn't as high and airy and volatile. So it's almost like my room was just containing this scent. And this definitely lingered in my room. I have it on day three now. So right now, I think we're at a total of 28 hours. It's still doing well, well enough to turn it on for day three. But I don't think I'll, I'll leave it past day three, even if it's still going, because I just don't really like this scent very much. So downstairs, it reminded me a little bit of autumn blaze maple without like pumpkin and without woodsy notes. More of a bakery version of autumn blaze maple. It also made me think of um, Buzzworthy. There was like Buzzworthy creeping in. So, but up here in my bedroom, I can't even describe what it reminded me of. It was just very different here in my bedroom. So I'm not sure, maybe I'll warm the other bars in my open layout because I tolerated it better there. I think this is definitely a fall and winter scent more than spring and summer. So that could be part of the problem. And I think that it would survive an open layout, probably more like a very, very long day or two short days would be a good amount of time. So will I be repurchasing the Hufflepuff bar or putting it in my Scentsy Club? I don't think so. I don't really like it enough on Scent Appeal to do that. Performance was okay for me, but Scent Appeal just not there. I'm hoping I'm gonna like the other bars better in the collection, but we'll see. So that's Harry Potter, Hufflepuff, Just and Loyal. All right, let's talk about our second place scent for the week. It is called It's Love. 
This is a Valentine's Day collection scent. This one had 19% of the vote. It's a very pretty gentle pink color. And I would put this in the fruity category and it's about a medium on intensity. It is an LTO as well, which stands for limited time offer. So if you like this one, make sure you put it in your Scentsy Club. Scentsy describes this as tangy, tangerine, dances with raspberry blossom beneath a night sky of sparkling sugar. So it talks about tangerine and raspberry blossom. Now, I find this is more like a tangerine raspberry. Oh, there's something going on downstairs. Uh, it reminds me of a nice, pretty punch that you would smell or taste, I should say, at like a sweet 16 party where they added some seven up, maybe the seven up went flat. So it's like a wild berry fruit punch or something with like tangerine and berries and raspberry. And then they added the lemon lime soda, but it was flat. It kind of dilutes it, but in a nice sweet sugary way. That's what this reminded me of. Very, very nice. Scent appeal, very high for, for me. So it wasn't cloyingly sweet or anything like that. It was just, in my opinion, very well done. So I really liked it on cold. I really liked it on warm. So let's talk about performance. Here's my bar that I used. I used a total of five cubes. So I used two cubes in Erica's room. Strength to throw there was about seven out of 10. I left it going just 11 hours. So it just didn't have the stamina <laughs> that I'm used to. And it could be because it's a fruity scent. It's a light airy scent, but it just didn't seem to be strong enough for long enough. So in Drew's room, I decided to put the other three cubes. So there I had it going for about 10 hours and usually Drew's room just slams the scents, but this one, it just seemed to suck it up. It was very nice at the beginning and then I couldn't smell it. So it just didn't seem to last very long. So very nice and scent appeal, just not very long lasting and about a medium intensity. But it did remind me a lot of, and I, I didn't pull it out to smell so I could be wrong, but my brain kept going back to that juicy apple raspberry. A little bit of a spin off of that or maybe a little bit of spin off of my favorite blizzardberry. Uh, this is very spring and summer appropriate. And I think kids would like this just as much as adults. So that's always good if you have a family. Uh, and yes, I liked this, but it was a little bit sh too short acting for me because when I first put it in, I actually considered putting it in my Scentsy Club. And then as I warmed it and I warmed it in two spots, because I always like to warm things in two spots before I make a judgment because things can obviously smell different or warm different in different areas of your home. So keep that in mind. And the other thing is, if you can, it's better to do it on different days because temperature, humidity, all that stuff plays a role. So you just wanna give a bar a fair chance. But will I be repurchasing its love? Well, I actually have my full bar here and three cubes. So I'm just gonna enjoy this. Uh, it's just like in real life, sometimes love doesn't last. <laughs> Could be great, but if it's not long lasting, sometimes it's not a love for me. So it's love. Not a repurchase, but I did like it a lot. All right, so let's move on to the portion of the video where I think it's the fun part. We're gonna draw the scents. I'm gonna draw three scents from my box and I'm gonna draw three scents from this bag, which contains scents that are kind of out right now or coming out. And I thought, give you guys some options. So we're gonna go from the bag to the box. We'll do that. If you can't vote down on the YouTube comment section, then find me on Instagram, it's Patricia Gates, put your two votes there. Please try to vote by Wednesday morning because I always feel really bad when people don't vote by Wednesday and I have to tell them that your votes didn't count. So just think of it like this. It's called Tester Tuesday. Try to vote on Tuesday. That's what I say. All right, I'm gonna close my eyes and shake things up here in the bag. All right, we're gonna go way to the bottom. Scent number one is Harry Potter Gryffindor. And this is called Bravery and Determination. So you can just put the red Harry Potter or Gryffindor or or what's it called? Bravery and Determination. I'll take any of those. <laughs> All right, scent number two. Oh, is in the box. I'm gonna try to go to the old style stuff, so we'll see. I'm just gonna go through the old stuff first. Scent number two is two different colors. <laughs> That's never a good sign. This is business casual, but I have a bar. So fear not, if you vote for that one, I'll have extra wax. Scent number three. Together forever. Also from the Valentine's Day collection. Set number four is down in the box. And this one is Dolce de Leche. And guess what? The hoarder in me has a bar of that I've never melted either. So <laughs> we're good to go there. Set number four is a green wax and it is Harry Potter Slytherin. This one's called Cunning and Ambition. And set number five is down in the box. There's only one in my old, old, old bag, so we'll use that up. This one is titanium. Never warmed that before. So thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you have a great day in your neck of the woods. 
please don't forget to vote. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.